Um, I came because the, of the arts I had, the music, and the, I really was into film back then. Because other schools weren't safe, and this school, it was so, I heard it was like so diverse, and people were more open here, and I just, I don't know, it felt like a good place to start. It was really open, it was really cool, because as soon as I walked in, There'd be like people singing, or they'd have a ukulele, or like there'd be like a little drum circle in the middle of the hallway. People like wanted to meet me, they wanted to be my friend, they wanted to know about me. And I just kind of like pushed everyone out, but they just kept trying to get to know me and I realized that they were actually truthful, they actually wanted to know me. I used to be a really awkward person, like uh, just kind of that shy, awkward person that just like stares up at everyone like, hello, don't look at me. And I'm just more relaxed now when I talk to people most of the time. It's easier. I came from a school that was pretty like pretty hostile towards everybody. If you, know, if you weren't on a, a varsity sports team, you didn't really exist. And when I came here, the first time I sat down on the couch in the lobby, you know, people were like, hey, how are you? Well, like, when I came to East Hollywood, I had gone to West for my first trimester, and I didn't make any friends, and it was really uncomfortable. None of my teachers knew my name, and I was just, it was just a depressing situation. I got here, and then I realized that all of the weird, sparkly awesome that is inside of me could be presented on the outside, and it was okay, because it's an accepting family kind of thing going on. That's cool. I couldn't succeed anywhere. I was just doing terrible. I didn't have a calling. I, I couldn't do anything right. It was just ever since I, I came here from the first day, I, I, I was seeing the results of my, of my works and my labors, and things were working out, and I, I love that. People, at times, they're more family than my actual family. That's why people cry when a teacher leaves, not, oh my gosh, thank goodness he's gone. No, they freaking cry. I never went to, like, I never went to class and I didn't care about my grades. And then I came to the school and <laughs> I started getting good grades, you know, from going to one person who doesn't like to go to class and could skip so much school and no one would notice and no one would care. Coming to the school, I can't even miss like five minutes without half the school asking me where I'm at. <laughs> um, East Hollywood has given me more of a self-worth than any other school has, and I feel like that's kind of something that everyone should use. <laughs> did a little bad at the school when I first started, but then everything started to get better, and the teachers, they, they told me I could do everything that I wanted to do, and it's mostly because of the people that I met here that I became president. Everybody, everybody knows everybody. Everybody likes everybody. Um, I've learned that anybody can be in a family. Um, it helped me learn to work with others, to like to work with different kinds of people. Goodbye East Hollywood. I'm going to miss every single moment and I'm going to cherish every single memory. Peace out East Hollywood. It's been really fun. It's been a wonderful experience. I love you all. Keep doing what you're doing because this school is meant for the people that are shooting for the stars. Goodbye, East Hollywood. I love you. Goodbye. I love you. Goodbye, East Hollywood. Goodbye, East Hollywood. Goodbye, East Hollywood. Bye, East Hollywood. Goodbye, East Hollywood. If it wasn't for you, my dreams would never come true. Goodbye, East Hollywood. Bye, East Hollywood. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs>